What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here. We are playing some RimWorld. This is the Rim Hammer, the End Times Alien Race Space Race. All right, we've gone up with our ally, the Empire, and this dude should put us at 100, I think. They don't move too quick, do they? Either way, we did what we could. I do think we dumped a few of them over here. <laughs> Uh, we could strip these guys and repair their gear. See what it's worth. It's going to be worth money, so there's that. What else is happening around here? Any wildlife about? We just got a group of muffalo. There's a troll that definitely should be hunted, if he's, especially if he's down and out. There's the reason he's down and out. We'll take that porcupine, too. Need to keep limping along and making as many meals as we can. Last time I checked, I had about 2,500. So we're doing all right yet. And then, how are we doing for package survival meals? 4,296. Fantastic. Our goal was 4,000. We reached that right as fall set in. So, now we're uh, doing a little extra because we can. There's some goats. Why not? More material. More wealth. The wealth on this colony is getting a bit out of hand. Where, where does it say? 47,000 and some change. 477,000 and some change. So the clothing was brought in. Where's the repair people at? Or did I already get to it? No, that's tainted. Yeah, whatever. Let's just see. I think it might just be Craig that has to get to that. I don't know if we're going to be able to pack these along with us. The mass on them is pretty significant. But if we do, we'll be able to do some serious bullshit on people. <laughs> just show up at a base, drop bombs on their heads, and uh, pretty much win that way, right? That's going to be phenomenal. So it's pretty much 11 days, or as soon as the snow melts, and we're going to shove out of here. It's going to be a big bit of packing. We're going to leave the beds. I'm going to try and disassemble most everything else I can. The animals are, for once I'm happy about it, rapidly reproducing. And uh, that should be good. <laughs> It doesn't really tell you how many I have. We've had horses so long. We're at Stallion 108. It's fucking crazy, right? Where's the foals, dude? Oh, I think it reset. No. Yeah, I think it might have. Totally did, because unless that's a war horse, which it's not a war. So it reset. <laughs> Maybe when they grow up, though, it'll carry the count back at the higher number. God knows we've... Oh, there's a moose. We've had... Minor break risk, what is that about? Death shoulder, needs. His friends died. I shocked. How long is that going to last? 30 days? 16. Ouch. Oh, we uh, might have a problem with our gore friend. Well, we'll see. There's a fox. I'm trying to make heads or tails of what it makes the most sense to bring with us. Oh shit, Moxa, what are you doing? Fucking got him too. Run away! Shoot the bastard. Kuzli, uh, an assist would be nice. Hope he didn't lose a limb. I think his lung was destroyed before. No, you come over here and deal with this. Should have paid more attention. I've got... Oh, donkeys have joined. Well, I mean, it's more pack animals. We got two female donkeys. Why not? Detected a logging site nearby. So before we go, we're going to pack up all the little statues we have around. We're going to pack up uh, all the heaters. We're going to deconstruct anything meaningful. What's the mass on a battery? Those will be deconstructed. That's too high of a mass. There's just going to be a lot of work in reclaiming whatever components we can. I'll probably just... Maybe just delete this. We're not going to plant again. Set up a big zone down here for all the shit because these are all going to fill up 
quick and then hope to God we can get out of here. So it's going to be one day of packing everything and one day of running the hell out of here. <laughs> and that's going to be that. Hope to God we don't have any mental breaks during that time frame. But Death Shoulder here is going to be a problem. Trolls wandered in. All right, where? Ooh, that's a lot of trolls. I was going to immediately do a hunt, but that's some shit you have to do in force. So we might have other awesome weaponry here. Yeah, look at that. We do. Uh, Kuzli, you have a good one. I'm trying to replace the people that have normal quality weapons with the ones we're making now. As you can see, there's a few normal ARs laying about. We made... I guess I made two extra rugs, but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. All right, we have about 10 days. Hopefully not much more than that. Wildlife. River trolls. Why don't, we, why don't we go on our river troll slaughter and festival over here? And then set everybody to drafted hunt. Let's just go bananas. It'll give them something to do. It's not going to be too exciting, though. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's not going to go too far for you, little friend. A massive amount of hay we have is holding up very well, so I don't regret that decision. Architect zone. Stockpile zone. Clear. Critical. I don't think buildings rot when they're laying it. Uh, let's just make it low for now. Actually, I'm just going to leave it and not put anything in it because I don't want shit ended up outside. We still have 10 days. I'm just eager to get out of here. You know, we're going to get these massive raids and bullshit before it's over, too. All right, we have an Empire Goods Trader, too. That's awesome. Priscilla has squat to do at the moment as well. So, Priscilla, you are up. Go trade. We want to buy more Plasteel. I want to make my artifact of Sigmar. I've been making these damn guns. <laughs> Do you have any more guns to be made? Yeah, I'm going to suspend those momentarily and see if we can't. Because we need like 50 plasteel. Fuck yeah, they actually have it too. It's glorious. Meals we'll keep. Where's all those troll hearts we just butchered up? Do they have any veggies? They have ogre meat. We definitely don't want that. These count as meat. I'd rather have something that counts as veggies. They have components. I'm going to just start spending money like mad here. But also I'm going to try and move a bunch of these things we don't really need it's worthwhile to keep something on hand but oh, a lot of this we just don't want we'll keep some of that let's see what else meds EMP shells saltpeter coal we can no, we don't have any of that coal we don't need the coal let's shove that out steel it's not gonna hurt to have extra steel I'm also gonna this is heavy really heavy right Mass is one, so that uranium's not going to go too far for me. I have a jabber tongue. I might get lucky and get a magician out of that. But it's a one in 20 chance, I think. Beer and mead wouldn't be bad. Let's have some drogas around. Cloth crap can go. See, they built all that shit out of cloth. That's most disappointing. There's a normal parka. Some toques that are normal. Those are good. I guess we'll keep them. Not going to buy another. Wait, these we don't need. Steel simple helmet. They do have some magical shit too. We did repair these clothes so we can sell them. 12 bucks for a cape? Get out of here. I wish I could convert a lot of my money into gold. Shit. We have to buy a bunch of stuff here. Uh, freezing statue. This will definitely wipe out the funds a heating statue and a freezing statue so let's see we could sell some other shit here too though keeping the EMP shells we have all this insect jelly I was gonna use that for the road ogre meat cheese and bread that shit's very expensive so I'm not gonna buy it what if we sold the troll leather and bought some of these items down here so freezing, what if we bought them all? Yeah, that's probably a decent idea. I don't want a wall light. I do kind of want to move the uranium. We're not going to be able to use it. We're not going to be able to bring it. It's worth a lot. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep like 200. I'm gonna sell the rest. That should be fine, right? That's a massive trade. These guys love us. Gromerl Empire bed. <laughs> yeah. Probably. There's a cleaning statue too. Another one of those won't hurt. They're light, so if you look at the mass on, for instance, because they're magical, that's only three kilograms. That's only three kilograms as well. So they're easy to carry. This probably doesn't weigh it. We have one kilogram. Probably won't even set those things up. I'll just toss them in storage, and then I can sell my grom roll off. We're not going to use that. Uh, let's let's sell another hundred of these. Eight forty-seven. So that'll leave me with a hundred, which is fine. We're keeping bearskin just in case we need some textiles. We're kind of eliminating our capacity to do stuff on the road. But all right, somebody get all that shit dragged in in terms of trading on the road, but I think it's fine. We still have a mountain of cash, so I'm not worried about it. Wildlife. It would have been nice if they had veggies, but I think, how do we end up with per package, package survival meals? All right, we're doing decent. I always forget to harvest all the berries on the map before the winter hits, too. As You, know, you get a couple hundred that way, but it's you know free shit, right? So far, I'm dramatically happier with how this one went versus the last one. <laughs> you know, one thing I'm thinking about doing, so Lubov, this spell, I have two magic points. I can use one. Why don't we try it and just see what happens? So you go there, and let's check health. Anybody that has a lung issue. Hypothermia, that's no bueno. That's actually really no bueno, because we're going to be on the road. You're in, friend. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but it's worth a test. You have a shattered nose, why not? You have a lung issue. A sensory mechanize, why not? Alright. Beer tolerance, I wish I had beer tolerance right now. <laughs> Alright, is this everybody? It is, okay. So you go in the middle. You guys gather around her. Let's go to your magic. Should have done this right away if I was gonna do it. But... And cast. Slow it down. Health. It did not fix the lung issue. The only thing it cured was sensory mechanites. So we still need lungs. We wasted a magic point, but it was a valuable test. I should have known that because I cast it last time. So it kind of is what it is. But whatever. It's fine, right? Now, eh, about 10 days left. It's getting a little ponderous here. When we get on the road, it's just going to be painful. I'm going to be so bored for so long. <laughs> Tempted to leave early. It would be nice to be able to do the ceremony because everybody's going to get pissed off, but that's going to be 10 more days. That might not be a bad goal. I also need to get these people. Where are you? The people that aren't staying warm this guy now he's fine but let's go check his gear so 18 degrees do can we make some more bearskin parkas let's do details no cloth and uh let's make what let's see if we can make those out of bear i've been hunting every bear i've seen I could actually be more specific with that and say bearskin. How are we doing for bearskin? Fuck, we can only make one, but maybe we'll get another bear before it's over. So it'd be nice to get those people sorted out. Anybody, like this bro doesn't even... We have to make a special halfling hat for him. Can I do that? Not at a magic workbench, that's for damn sure. Uh, do I have to research anything for halflings? Let's try that. The fact that he doesn't have a hat. Health. Health. No gear. Here's what I wanted. Negative 58, negative 68, negative 103, 43, 21. Oh, there's some people that are 
Alright, so for instance, Craig here, he's gonna freeze his balls off. He could literally die from the cold on the road. Uh, what's that? We could actually force him to wear that parka. Why don't we do that on one of these guys? Like, right now, you're good till 8. Hold on, we can actually make a halfling cap at this point, too. There we go. A lot of shit showed up here, so I'm confident. Halfling cap. Now, what the hell was I doing? Uh, the dude with this guy gear. He's good till 18. Gaboa is good till 1. Why don't you come in here and force wear that? Why don't I swap that out? You force wear that. Now he's good till negative 69. Nobody wear the capes. Crap shell cape. <laughs> and then the halfling should come in and put that on, right? What are you working on? Sleeping, cleaning. Is the hat appealing at all? Playing chess. What? Can't wear a halfling cap, but you're a halfling. Uh, a sign. Anything. Uh, let's go muck with anything and see what's up with that. There's something out of whack here. It's on the list of shit I can wear. I don't understand why you can't wear it. No clue. It won't wear a toque. Won't wear. I, well, I guess maybe we can force wear it on the road. I don't know. It kind of is what it is. If he's not going to wear it, we made it just for him. It's not tainted. Why would that be? Cougars, wargs, arctic coyotes in need of some hunting over here. Otter, solar flare. That's a bit sucky right now, but mm, good thing we've been f focusing on getting everybody nice and warm. What is that? Another bearskin parka. Awesome. Gaboa. Forswear the parka. So I'll make it a point to try and buy some armor. Visitors with stuff to trade from the halflings. Maybe they'll have a nice halfling hat. If they make it over here without getting schmucked. Alright, barrels, meds. I'm just going to keep buying meds. It's not going to hurt. Cloth toque. Oh, this is all shit I can sell. Yeah, why not? I'm going to keep the good toque. We're going to keep a bearskin parka too. Yeah, we might as well just shove everything we can out. Molotovs will keep. Sniper rifle, assault rifle. I mean, we're getting to a point where it doesn't make sense to keep those even. Reinforced barrels, even. they have nothing to buy. Packet survival meals. Just going nuts because we have so much money. No. And we're going to be on the road packing all this shit up. So it doesn't overly make sense to try and sit on it. This room. Why isn't it showing me temp? Oh, it's dark. I'm looking in the wrong spot. This room stays warm because of the hearth in there. So that's kind of cool. If we get somebody that's freezing, we have no warnings about it right now, though. Need a research project. Do we? Dwarfs, Empire, Cooking. What would that give me? Curie and Stone Bread. High Bloods, Flame Guns. So maybe. Advanced Furniture. Whatever. Give them something to do for the meantime. So, Solar Flare just ended after about 10-12 hours. As of now, we'll have about 3,000 capacity, kilogram capacity on our caravan. And I don't know how much shit we have to carry, but... <laughs> what's it, like These things would be nice just to bring them. 20 kilograms is a tall order, though. A lot of the stuff will deconstruct. There's going to be plenty of wood where we go, but I'll probably pack some just so we can build a fire right away. Maybe even along the way on the road. Um, they can get recreation that way in those times you're forced to stop, assuming we don't take any massive injuries. So I don't know what's going to be overly heavy on the, on the packing list. Like These are 100 kilograms, so... I'd like to bring them, but we might just have to deconstruct them and rebuild them later. Well, we'll see what we can do. It's going to take some futs and I hate forming huge caravans. It fucking drives me nuts and pisses me off and 
RimWorld is not very reliable. All right, so we are completely out of food. I'm going to have to enable simple meals. Details, let's do like, I mean, 80 is probably fine. These ones won't even have that. I don't want them eating packet survival meals. And then if we just stay on top of hunting, we should be fine with packet survival, or with fine, fine meals. Let's scratch that, normal meals, because we're not getting any more veggies. I used everything. In fact, they just use some to make regular meals, but as long as we can keep the food going, these ogres are going to be a bit of a problem with their eating problems. But I think we can scrape by for another 10 days or so. I was debating on getting out of here, but I think we're going to do this ceremony before we go. It'll give everybody a nice, so eight days, it'll give everybody a nice mood boost before we hit the road. Hopefully, if we don't frack up the ceremony, be worthwhile then high blood furniture flame guns burial flooring could get into some dwarven flooring it is nicer anything empire that looks interesting we can make bread cheese frying pan uh, what do we do for mead where do I find that wreck no what was that look change desire that's just fine anyways I didn't do any war machines for Empire, so we're going to go Dwarven War Machines. be nice to mix it up, but it's just not going to happen. C cooking, maybe? We're clocked again. There we go. Oh, hosting somebody. No, nothing for the Empire. We're just not into the futuristic Empire. It's just how it is. Uh, what's the coolest color? God damn, there's nothing. I mean, they're all positive things. Blue, white, red, white, black, white, Osland, Sterland. That's looks like red and white. Yeah. Let's do something colorful. Blue and white, red and green. Let's go with this one. Inspired trade. Man, research. Look at how fast that shit goes. Does that dude have a belt of ardor, or is it literally just that fast? Come on, damn it. Gear. He does not. It's just a really fast research item. Alright. Where do I make this? I don't know. Let's try here. I don't fuck if I know. Might have to be done at an Empire Tailor bench, which I don't have the capacity to build right now. So, so there's that. How many days? This is the countdown for when we're leaving, right? Right here, eight days. <laughs> so, I have inspired recruitment, which is intriguing and sounds fun. I'm tempted to uninstall that one, but we need a dwarven one if we need to do any more repairs. So I'm not going to do it for now. These dudes are making quick work of that research. Intellectual level 16. Nice. Ah, oh, man, they're giving up now. Mayor, the mares are giving birth like crazy. The foals are growing up, which is nice. So that's just going to give me more capacity when I finally get out of here in eight days. It might be seven by now. Seven it is. All right, research screen done. Let's opt out of that for now. Empire tailoring bench out of wood is fine. And I have to do one more bit of research for it. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Please leave a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment. I do read them all. I do respond. I love you all. I appreciate you being here with me today. How's this holding up? It's almost like we found more. I think they've only eaten about 1,500 since I last checked. So we have plenty of that to get through. Just need to stay on top of hunting so we can... That's so tempting. We're going to hunt them, though. Alright, that should be fine. Anyway, I'll see you next time.